Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin here back and I'm bringing you a quick video on the best strategies to use in Hockey Ultimate Team, for me at least. Uh, so far, I've been fiddling around with strategies for so long and I think I finally found one that really works for me. Whether or not you're a really good player or a really bad player or you want to get better, uh, you definitely want to try these out. Uh, obviously, my record is not the best, but then again, I'm doing all these pack squads and whatever it is. Uh, so, my record is not that great, but try these out for yourself. I think I recently found some strategies that worked very well in Division 1 at least. Uh, if you're trying to get up from Division 3 to Division 2 or whatever it is, try out these strategies as well. You might just be able to improve and you might even make it all the way to Division 1 by yourself. If you are uh, someone that's already in Division 1 and you have different strategies than me and you have a lot better record or something like that, please let me know uh, your strategies. I wouldn't mind uh, reading those in the comment box below as well. But anyways, let me get into the strategies here and I'll show you what I mean. So getting into the strategies here, um, right now I really like uh, the 1-2-2 one, two, two aggressive, like I said. I like that one forward deep playing in. Uh, neutral zone 1-4. to four. I, I set that neutral zone slider before to 0, and now I put it up to 6. What I found out was if you if you leave this part bar sorry down too low, uh, your guys tend to fall back very, very early when the other team gets the puck. You set this all the way up, you have 2-3 to three guys. Uh, constantly attacking their defense at least and it's a very very powerful thing to put that on six so try out that strategy for yourself offensive pressure full attack I really like to have everybody attacking uh, really you get rarely beat on uh, on what do you call it on breakaways if you the only reason why they will get a breakaway is if you actually try to attack and you try to hit them and you miss the hit that's when they get breakaways and as long as you don't go for the hit uh, this Full attack and high pressure work very, very well uh, just because they like to run at guys, but only at the right time. They don't actually like to uh, give the guys breakaways very often. It doesn't happen too often. I don't get beat by breakaways that often. Defensive strategy, staggered like before. I think I had it on type point, but uh, st st I'm butchering my words again. Staggered is a very good uh, defensive strategy. I put that penalty kill on large box. And Umbrella I've started to use recently. I think uh, How to Chell uses Umbrella as well. But uh, I recently found that uh, the overload really makes the guys fall into the middle more. And I can't get those passes in the middle, uh, in the slot to get those one-timers. But when I do Umbrella, what I like to do is I like to pass around the outside. And until I find an opening or I like to just rag the puck a little bit in the offensive zone, uh, that is the perfect strategy. Umbrella, especially in the power play. Uh, you just hold the puck a little bit in the offensive zone. Uh, you can bring it around and then you can just shoot it wherever you would like. Uh, and when I have big players, it works really, really well. So, power play carry, nothing new. It is on set on 10. Forward line as well. I set all of these back to crash the net, and these have been so useful for me. I can't even explain. Crash the net is the way to go. Overload was not doing it for me. Uh, I've set all these sliders to 10, and then efficiency down to very low. You know what? I can even set this down one more if I really wanted to, but... Going to forward line two, I kind of increased the efficiency a little bit. I want them to still be able to use up a lot of energy, but still uh, not be that efficient. I want them to use as much energy as possible because my line two is pretty good. Uh, the don't block feature, I honestly don't care. I still get in the way of shots. When you get into your forward line three and line four, though, you want to increase your efficiency all the way up to around 10, around what you think it is. Basically, raising that efficiency, uh, your first and second line will be able to recharge faster on the bench. Uh, pretty simple stuff there for line four. Also, efficiency very high up. Going on to defensive pairing, I put that whole line thing all the way down to zero. And why I did this, I actually want them to pinch plays instead of actually falling back. And that is a really big thing as well uh, that I found with my defensemen. My defensemen are huge, and they're hard to get around. So if you put this slider down to zero, your guys will go in for the hit more often but very smartly like they kind of angle them off right they don't exactly uh, give them a breakaway but they do print pretty well this year i like the ai put that on zero put that on 10 for cycle and i did this for every single one so those are my strategies for nhl 15 at least the best ones i've used so far try them out for yourself i'm going to quickly show you my team and why it works so well uh, my team is really catered to really fast and really big players i hear all the time Lamb Chops, why don't you use Grabner? Why don't you use Darren Helm? Uh, these guys are great, but honestly, I like to use players that are fast and like complement each other well. I like using right-handers now on the left wing. I don't know why. 
uh, just to get those point slots, uh, point shots, and also uh, I like I like to snipe on the left side as well sometimes. But Marty Hansel, he is six foot six, two thirty. Brian Boyle, six foot seven, two forty four. And then we got Phil Kessel, of course. He's just an add-in, but uh, Brian Boyle and Hansel together, you cannot knock off the puck, especially with the umbrella power play and your puck ragging it around the offensive zone, trying to get that scoring chance. These guys are amazing. Uh, obviously, Phil Kessel can be replaced by someone else, but he is really, really good at sniping, not going to lie. Anze Kopitar, Haglin, Gabrick. I think I already showed you guys my lineup. Thornton, Perry, Giroux. And then we got Tavares, Marlowe, and Hosa. A lot of free pack guys. They're all free packs. I already did the, all the collections before. Uh, I got a, uh, I got I got the Pittsburgh uh, collection lent to me by It's Tibbs, basically, so I gotta thank him for sure. And every single collection is now done, in hot for me at least. But try out those strategies for yourself. Obviously, every person is different. If you like different strategies, try changing them, the sliders, a little bit more to what you like. But so far, that is my favorite type of strategies. It's very offensive, uh, but then my guys also pinch up on the plays and do very well. Uh, defensively as well. I like the high pressure uh, strategies. But anyways, that's just about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm thinking about showing you guys my strategy or my uh, recent games because people think that I'm actually not too good at the game. But I mean, if you actually look at it, uh, these are my recent games, I think. But uh, win, loss, yeah, like they're not far off. Uh, win, DNF win, we got another win, OT loss, win, lost. Like we're not losing by that much. Like one to two goals max. Uh, usually these guys are really good. If I actually check their, like, records, I probably could check them later. But a lot of wins, uh, but then there are a couple losses. Pretty big ones there for sure. Uh, but if you actually look at these guys, like, these guys have crazy records. Let's check this guy. Uh, Exo Zuper, can I check him? Uh, wherever I lost, these guys are really good. Flurry, view, uh, players' recent games. Like, these guys are not bad at all. Uh, this guy Flurry, I think he's top 20. Like, it's not beatable unless you have a really good team. Like, this guy has, like, Crosby, Malkin, Datsuk. Like, how, what am I supposed to do about that? But anyways, that's just about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this small little video on the best strategies to use in HUT. Hopefully you use them. Tell me if it works or not for you. Uh, and then maybe just leave it a like if you did enjoy it. Alright? See you guys later, and have a good day. Bye. I'm going to show you how my team looks. Uh, Brian Boyle, Marty Hanzo, Patrick Marlowe, I like to use all these guys, just my first line, uh, but they do so well, they score me all the goals, I think Brian Boyle is my leading uh, goal scorer, I think he's got like, I think a lot of points, 100 or 110